I believe that whenever there are big events, such as World Championship or Candidates or Olympiad or World Cup, or, well, there are a few of those uh, every one or two years. It just makes sense for everyone, doesn't matter the level, pretty much to uh, focus on them. So instead of just opening some book and looking at some, I don't know, good knight versus a bad bishop or some sacrifice on f7 or whatever they would put in any of those uh, books maybe we can get to see some ideas from some of the games and just get to see a little bit of the world cup games so we have some very good games actually i think kamsky played uh, he played the worst game of the tournament which obviously we will start with, or at least the most entertaining one. And then he played definitely the best game of the tournament, which is his game against Mamedeov yesterday. So he's, he was exactly on both sides. So we'll start with this game and let's see what we can study from, from this game. Actually, the critical position is going to start around move 20. But let's get there. So actually, Kamsky won the first game the first game with the white pieces. So all he needed was a draw here to qualify. Okay, they placed the King Gambit. Okay, uh, this is one of many, many lines. It's not really that critical for us to analyze it. Well, the, the big point is just that black played d5 is basically black giving up back the pawn just in order to get fast development, doesn't want to keep the pawn and stay behind. Okay, c6 has been played, bishop back. I assume that without much analyzing, if take on c3, pretty much something like this would follow, whether exchanging queens or not, after take on f4. Well, let's, let's, for example, play it this way. I mean, white, white is supposed to be more pleasant here. Just as a pair of bishops, bishop e6 will result in a weakness on e6. White is just more pleasant here. Okay, we will cruise slowly to our position. a4, knight e7, take, take. Okay, I think already here, I'm not certain if black should be that happy, giving white that center i think black played black didn't play that well just just looking at that i mean let, let's look two more moves what happened okay so black is already i think well unless he has something against white king he has a problem he has no no center and f4 is weak and okay very soon this is the position they got what do you think about this position? Stinks? It stinks, what to do? Why? Well, the uh, black's pieces are all disorganized. White's got the pawn center with the knight on f3. Now black knight's over here on h5, unprotected. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like the, a lot the pawn chain against the dark color bishop which is uh, and white is equal material well black, black is in big trouble here i mean i think i think his trouble started when white played a4 and he played c6 and he exchanged basically exchanged the a pawn with the c pawn well, i'm not certain why why i would give that c pawn but okay knight e5 that looks good attacking h5 attacking f4 Okay, defending h5, defending f4, everyone's happy. Queen d3, okay. Okay. Does black have any, has any threat in this position, in this one? Well, let's first of all think if he has any threat in this position. What, w what would, would his threat be right here? I don't think that black has any threat here. Specifically here, I do not see any threat. Because, okay, well, let's then see. Does black have any threat here? 
Well, which apparently the US champions for 2013 couldn't see a tactics that, yeah, may, several 1500 that's in the game, like seeing that, right? Right? So what shall we play? Queen takes h2. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's I mean this this game has like at least I think three point three moments that the evaluation changed by somewhere between six, seven to ten points. I mean that's I mean bullet game seems more solid than this one, <laughs> but 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 let's go back and move. In this position there might not be any threat, right? Because well, let's say white just plays okay, rook b one, beautiful move. Because now I think, okay, it, it's maybe winning, maybe winning a pawn, right? But actually losing a piece, so absolutely no threat for, for black. Actually, not not very clear what. No, I mean rook f2 is like one of those uh, self self-made puzzles, right? Because yeah. he had to take the square. Because if not, let, let's say we play just bishop d2. Oh man, that's an interesting game. Okay. Yeah. And then knight f3 can always be played. I mean, this, this is a very important defensive idea. Yeah, if I remember okay, you know, I remember computer line. Well, computer is actually super happy about this move. He, he doesn't, he, he likes this move super duper. Because his idea is here, he wants to play this, 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 and then he is so happy that he can take back. Like I think he was like plus five, plus six for black, something, something not really that bad. Okay, so this is number one. Okay, nine g three. Well, what should white play here? Well, black is threatening checkmate. That's not really that bad. Yes? I, I like defending checkmate attack and queens at the same time. Defending check. OK, we all do. So knight f is good. OK. And take is not bad. Yeah, if ta if take this way, then just rook goes somewhere, right? H2 is defended and H6 is under attack. But here it's amazing position. Okay, what to play here? Have you seen it? Like analysis? Yeah. No, because this is amazing. This is, this is another plus. I think plus seven, seven, six, seven points, right? From plus five, plus six to minus one. No, this. No, but okay. All right. So this is a checkmate. So we have basically two moves to play. We can move the king, or we can move the rook. I mean, okay. Are we going to put it to a vote, or? We'll think and choose one. OK, le let's start with moving the king. Black is going to take, right? And what's happening here? If the rook move, what is black going to play? Which one? Queen h1. Queen h1, OK. White will block with the knight. Rook f6. So basically, it doesn't matter where the rook goes on the second rank. This this is going to be 
impossible for Y to play. Okay. So then, White is getting into a big adventure. Something like that. Okay, let, let, let's, let's stop here for a second and see the other alternative. Before we're going to start looking at all this big adventure, may, maybe the other position is great for White. Well, it looks very suspicious, but what happens if we play differently? What happens if we move the rook? And this, this is, by the way, uh, I think a very important way to be able to analyze lines. Uh, white, white had, I think the times are pretty correct. So White had like a ton of time, like 20 minutes and really strong players, right? I mean, not everyone has to be 2800 to be called a really strong player. I mean, those are really, really strong players. So 20 minutes and, okay, what after Rook F1? We, ha we had an idea, King F1, looks messy at best for white, maybe maybe worse. But what here? Where is the problem here for white? Hmm? But if you take on g3, okay, either I get checkmated or not. I have to take the rook. So no checkmate there. And nothing much here also, pretty much resign. Yeah, actually now I remember, computer was at plus seven after rook f1, plus seven. And after king f1, maybe minus one, one and a half. So like, basically like he blundered the queen, like it's equal to like playing something like that, just to, uh, king f1, take. Yeah, actually this is probably way better than take. Because no, not, not easy to defend this one. No, and here, and here the problem for, for white that, okay, he's worse anyway, but he lost the first game, so, well, black doesn't need to find anything more than that. And actually all other alternatives are horrible for white. I mean, king, king e3 was best, I mean, was just somewhat worse. Don't remember exactly how much, but all other alternatives are horrible. Okay, but play this, this. Maybe this was also possible, but something like that also looks pretty, pretty okay for black. For yeah. All right, play this. Yeah, and here, here a bit tricky. I mean, a bit tricky, but again, what to play here? Yeah, Kansky lost, I think if this is the moment, lost the game immediately here. But what would be a logical move to play here? One or two or few, whichever one that you want. Just to play something, what would be? But look if three, okay, if I'll just take with the queen. Just queen take queen, queen take g1, king go somewhere. That's... Which one? Take, take well, just take. No, one, one, thing, one thing important here. We're going to see this, we're going to see several other games. And the thing that I think we can study from those is, one, well, everyone blunders, and it's really fun when they have 20, <laughs> 27 or 28 next to their numbers, especially on the left side, it's very fun. No, but I mean, believing the opponent too much, it's okay. Like, I mean, not every sacrifice is worth something, and like, I know many people, yeah, it's not easy not to do that. They just say, wow, my opponent is so strong, and he cannot have blundered. But the truth is that, yeah, most people, 
many people, I mean, actually blunder a lot and being saved by their opponents believing them, many, many. I mean, we will see actually some more. This, you know, if there is something to study from the, at least the two or three next games that I want to show from this tournament, is that, yeah, believing your opponent too much is not correct. Okay, but what to play with black? We have bishop takes d4 that I just take it, say thank you, be happy. Rook take f3, I do exactly the same, so. Bishop g4, bishop g4 yeah, this is the move someone else suggested when I showed the game. Bishop g4 is not bad. Bishop g4, I think queen take here and something like this is kind of is is very dangerous because if blocking then rook f3 is going to come yeah this this is quite bad this is one idea i think bishop e6 is the best move or one of the best moves i mean just want to open the position and okay i mean this just looks nothing to discuss I think bishop e6, bishop h3 is super strong, like all of those are like plus 5, plus 6, plus whatever, like g2, excellent. No, the thing, the thing is that it's very interesting to try and understand what Kamsky missed. I think, I, I think I have an idea what he missed, but okay, he wants to play rook f1 and like just resign, right? Uh, the opponent, like, immediately resign. So, basically, it's like a winning a game threat. So, how to stop rook f1? I think there's one way, right? You know, may, may, maybe I will do it this way. I, I will let you think here. I want, I want you to... Maybe tell me what you think Kamsky missed, because I think White's moves is obvious. But I th think, think I know what he missed. But I want to hear from you. Which one? No, but rook f2 is obvious move. Yeah, rook f2, you're right. This is the move that was played. It's a very good move. I think that what he missed, he, uh, m somehow I feel that he saw rook f2. Uh, that's my feeling. I think that he missed it after queen h6, that his queen is under attack. That's my feeling. Because probably, okay, he doesn't have so much. He said, okay, rook f2, queen h6, take on f2, or king e2, queen h5, and finish. I think that's what he missed. No, it's interesting to understand why when a player plays something, and there are really, really strong players, what he missed. I'm pretty certain this is what he overlooked. No, because no way that he overlooked rook f2. I mean, possible, but... Yeah, but after rook f2 is... It's amazing. Bishop, from winning to just losing. I mean, this is the third or fourth, somewhere between seven to ten points change in one one move. Yeah, here is, it wasn't that losing immediately, but okay. Just went and lost the game pretty much on the spot. He, his opponent gave him no, no more chances anymore. Kind of funny position. But he just played, White played very, very good. This is a very good move. Like, allowing the queen freedom, the rook is here defending. Yeah, just went on and on. And actually also, okay, here there are many moves that are winning. I'll just, I, I kind of like, me personally, maybe there is something even better, but I really liked White's play. Just get the king back, you know? Doesn't need to take the b5 pawn. All he needs is just to kind of put the king on d2 and the pawns are not mobilized anymore, so, okay. So this was one, one funny game, but Pop, but I think most likely the, so far the funniest game of the tournament. But there were several others really important games that had big tactical moments, uh, especially one, one that was, I thought, quite amazing between this young Chinese kid, 
node, it's going to be very, very strong, apparently, kid against Mamedero. Then he was probably, well, he had a very good position with black, and well, let's see what happened there. Okay. Okay, opening is not really that important. Yeah, somehow black seems to have zero problems here, right? Actually, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't even see the entire, the entire opening. I just seen it when Mamedeo was a piece down for quite some pawns, but okay, d5 is logical. Take, take, bishop c4. Okay, this is actually, I, I guess it started here, right? I guess it started here. Maybe a bit dangerous for, looks dangerous for black. For example, after castle, what shall we play here? I'm thinking about this move, maybe, maybe just totally crazy, but this move? No, but it's kind of scary. Bishop takes here. Now I want to play this move. I mean, most likely, I mean, it's either really, really smart or super stupid. Most likely it's super stupid, but I mean, just not really easy to defend this one. Well, this is actually interesting. I didn't see that. Queen d6, queen d7, I will take on, I will take on b6. Knight a5, I will take on c7. And if not, I just threaten to take on on um, c6, bishop b3, bishop b5. Maybe I can play this move. Maybe knight a5. Maybe this move here, and then c6. Yeah, maybe it's too much. Hmm. Yeah, but the double check, where is it leading? Oh. Well, for the work pipes, queens, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for example, I can play this move. Okay, if I had the rook on the third rank, I'll be so happy. I'll play this, give check, give check on h3, and put it in a puzzle. <laughs> I can play, I can, can win the queen, but for about bazillion pieces, it's, it's not going to make it, right? So this, this is not happy. No, but somehow it looks da so dangerous. Take? Is this move? Yeah, I cannot, I cannot get back to the diagonal to play. I mean, okay, let me play queen a2. I'll be happy because then I'm on the diagonal, but... So... No, may, may, okay, of course possible just to play just something simple, like just move knight to c3, but... You know, this, this to me is super forcing, most forcing line. Because, for example, I don't know, if queen d6... Okay, of course, we, we just threaten to take on b6. It's, it's just very, very forcing, this line. I mean, if it's working, white, white's going to be very, 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 very happy here, if it's working. So let's see again. Rook d2, bishop b5. Nothing much. Ah, wait a second. Can I take here? Take here. No, this is this is not bad because I will have this. Yeah, but this I I'm not a believer in this line. I'll take 
I mean, it starts to look artificial. Okay, in a second we will crack down and see what computers say. No, this I don't believe. I mean, A2, E2, the pieces are just too good here. Uh, queen C4, B5. Yeah. So even this is not so clear. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Mr. Computer, I don't even know how to make it work here. My goodness. All right, we are without him. So let's say that this was interesting and we will go home and see wha what's happening here. No, but okay, he played, I mean, Mamedov obviously played very similar idea. Yeah, why can't I? Oh, because it's Dasher. How do I? Okay, played this move. Take, take. Yeah, actually interesting what interesting what he played because knight c3 there is queen takes a four check and if c4 just queen c5 for example no actually queen c5 not gonna work so what after c4 no because c4 is most no one move no i mean queen bishop pin attack Actually, this, this was the blunder in the game, by the way. Rook, pawn, this, uh, just missed a simple pin. So maybe maybe they had problem with pins here, but I don't know. They could not have missed c4. I'm just trying to see what we missed. Yeah, okay. It's not really missed. I, I was thinking about ideas to go to end game, but okay. Yeah, I just didn't think it will be so strong. I mean, okay, he has to play queen e7. I was actually thinking about the idea, we'll see it in a second, about queen f6, but the queen is not getting trapped. So getting the, the queen, the pawn is tiny better than c4. Yeah, queen e7 and take on g2. Okay, that was his only line. Nothing, nothing clear, but... Okay, so this was one moment here. Yeah. Okay, they played this. No, but actually it, there was a pin that they missed in the game. Here, here. All right, this position. Yeah, okay. What to play here with black? I mean, this, this, this was really, I mean, this kid beat Nepomniachi beat Swidler, like made two draws, uh, Shiro, Shiro. Starts with an S, seems the same, <laughs> right. No, and made two easy draws in the rapid against Mamedov. No, I just played like 2800. But here, amazing. I mean, I remember I looked at it and I thought black is, I don't know, simplest, simplest move in the position. Sometimes, we are, not sometimes, most of the times. Mm, the simplest moves are the best, just the best. You know, what, what, what would probably most people play in a blitz game here is... Rook to e6. Rook to e6, right? I mean, it's attacking the knight, defending the pawn, like rook to e6. It's just most obvious move. No, this was amazing. Okay, yeah, three minutes, but apparently not too strong. So, so what's wrong with, okay, at least I understand. He played this move thinking that he's going to trap the knight, right? That was too smart idea. And what's the problem with this move? Huh? Right, that, that's just what he missed. It's amazing. Amazing. I mean, after, after, I think here, this has to be played. 
something like this. No, but this is just really bad. I mean, I maybe CC. What, what? Yeah, C5 is not bad, right? Sh actually, in this line, C5 is not bad. Because here, here, there's a checkmate here, and you just put the bishop on F3, and that, that looks kind of good for black. Like more more kind of like winning. I remember, there was, I remember there was a line that was a bit less clear, but but still, black was about winning here. But actually, this is... Yeah. This is just not bad for black. Like, rook e6, like... Yeah, so he played c6. Rook takes e4, and okay. Actually, not easy to play this position. It's supposed to be about equal, but... No, no... Not easy to play. Yeah, and this this is another. This is what saves, what saves white again. Yeah, he was really playing to trap the knight, and but here already very very bad. It's four pawns, and at some point they will mo be mobilized. I mean, actually, it's interesting. Computer said it's not not that easy, but uh, I just think that for computer maybe. Maybe he can say it's okay for humans. I, I thought it just lost. Okay, and white went. Okay, very, very slow, simple, whatever. At some point he will push the pawns. Yeah, I guess he, he just thought that, okay, after take, take. This cannot be stopped. I mean, sorry, g4 and h5 and f5. I mean, it's, it's four pawns. Yeah, why, why didn't play here this move? Just this move with g4 is... Maybe bishop d5. Okay, he played slower, but not important. Yeah, I mean this position, even if computers say at some point was okay, is okay, I mean, he just lost without any game. I mean, just impossible to play. So, resigned here. But amazing, you know, some one, it's just super important game. Okay, Mamedelov is already out of the tournament, so really not that critical. Maybe the kid could have been somewhere else, but again, in this position, the move that I, I really think that in a blitz game, maybe, maybe let's assume that c6 is winning the knight in a very complicated way. How many of us would really play that and think about it in a, an instinct? I think rook e6, probably most players would just automatically play. That's the best one. The last position, I think, well, maybe we'll have another one, but it was also very very, very important, and actually they are still playing. It's a game between Li Kuang and Svidler that actually had one very, very interesting moment there. But, no, and actually he had a very decent position here. Very decent. Okay, so they play this scotch. Okay, it's one of the main lines. Whatever, whatever. Nothing special has been done here. Actually, kind of easy position. I mean, Black just played normal moves, and yeah, I think I think there was some very complicated line. I think actually this crazy move, if I remember, okay, something like this. Anyway, better to take. Yeah, compu oops, computer kind of like qu king b8 in previous moves and so on. Maybe instead of g6. Or king b8 now at some point. No, but here he played here and f5. Okay, what's the idea of f5? I think f5 is a very good idea. Just it's losing the game. So 
So what, what's the idea of F5? Yeah, I, I think it achieved many things. It's fighting for the F file, not allowing rook F6. Fighting against this bishop, exactly. I mean, probably, le let's say, if, if white's bishop was on a normal square, let's say C3, and the knight somewhere, I think G4 would be... Okay, le for example, if we play those two beautiful moves, okay, uh, somehow this would make a lot of sense. And actually, actually, it would be very funny in this line. This line can be really funny. Because take is, I think, very much in, still in white's favor. The pawn is very dangerous. I think so. Which is not, not far away from actually what happened in the game. In, no, uh, so I think f5 is basically to block the, the rook, the file, the whatever. But okay, for people that didn't see the game, what should White play? He played one move, actually. Just that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Granda, I guess, wasn't in the mood to play Queen F7. And see uh, how the game continues. Yeah, what, what, what did he miss? Like, I mean, probably just take, take, take. And just that the pawn is... Yeah, that's... That's not so much fun. <laughs> no, but he played so strong, like everything. Like, all right. Now let's see two, two last games. OK, this one. They are still battling tomorrow. And this, this dude is really strong. Like, he won the Blitz World Championship. He probably more impressive. He beat Grishuk than winning the, because the World Blitz Championship really was not that strong, actually. Oh, Grishuk played, yeah, but, but many, uh, it wasn't as strong as many previous years. Yes, that's your job to tell me. Okay, so they played very good, boring, but tiny better line for white. No, no, it's good. It's good to play this way. Like, when you grew up on Anderson and all those things, you're like happy in this position. Anyway, no, the white, white is... White is better all the way. Actually, this is very interesting how, what to do with the king. Because it's not easy where, where to put the king, how to put the king. But I've seen some games like this. They are in many different versions. They play this and f5 and they put the king here. Yeah, not in the center. And OK. OK, so they got into this position. White, white is better all. all Tiny better all the way, but here this is the point I wanted to show. Okay, so this is the position, and actually, to be honest, when I first looked at it, I didn't fully understand the idea. I, I understood something, but I missed the tactics. They just make something much much stronger here. So, you know what to play. You know everything. What's that? You know the two. You 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 know. Living on those chess sites should replace me. No, but actually this, this, this was interesting. I, I had my reason to play the other move, but the e takes. e takes is the simplest move. But le OK, let's first of all see what happens with e take. Most logical move. OK, knight takes e5. What now? Again, very super simple move. What is the most logical move? that we will play automatically. Actually, uh, there are two moves, actually. D6 is one move, agree, another. Which one? Yeah, maybe this move, maybe move the king something. You cannot, I don't think you can take, right? Because I will take, take, and this. No, okay, he has to play king g6. Maybe, maybe still something like that, eh? Yeah, actually, this, this may be rookie one bothers me more. But this, 
And if I go here, yeah, yeah actually, actually, this time is trouble for white. Yeah, rookie, rookie one win. This, 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 this rookie one, right? Yeah, this I don't like. But I'll take on d7. I'll just take on d7, no? I mean, like, for example, this position. But you're threatening nothing. L let's say I just go here. I, I, I take, no? I can actually also take this way because it's defended. Yeah, not easy to defend d7 here. Yeah, ta take here may be also possible, but no no power to look at some of those things. No, but just okay. Bishop f6 is just enough to stop the line. But I think this is more serious, no? Yeah, this I actually don't like. I mean, this 6 looks, looks also not bad for white. d6 and this move is look, looking very logical. Just just immediate threats here. And actually black black reply is quite forced here, seriously. Yeah, I mean, I, I I I don't like to look so much at those things because it looks like just much better version of previous ones and so on. No, black has to sacrifice the exchange and blockade and pray, something like that. <laughs> no, but it's not so. I mean, it's not so horrible and practically for human. I mean, okay, this is a weakness, and those are really not that good and. Yeah, he, he actually made the draw super easy. I think White could have played better, but he made s super easy draw. It just looks horrible. Like, I mean, very soon it's going to be better here. Check. Check. Yeah, but but uh, but of course White was better. I was thinking at the beginning. I'll tell you what I was thinking: that I want to get this version. I want to get this version. Like, okay, I want to play. The same thing, but just without rooks. And this looks this looks kind of nice for for black for white because if I'm up material, especially when you're up like exchange, you want to get rooks off the board as quickly as possible. Just the dynamics of the pieces. But I I I, w I wasn't looking at the lines, and I just t see the computer was at plus three. And by the way, many times it's enough. You don't need to see the computer move, but you just understand, okay, this was not plus three, so I missed something before. And then I said, oh, that was the thing, just because computer. So what did I miss? That's what someone that didn't see the analysis is going to tell me. What did I miss after rook takes d5, rook takes d5? and so on, the continuation that we mentioned. Take, take only five, and so on. I mean, two strong players missed it also, so not that bad. But you are not going to miss it. Yeah, but thi this this what was played in the game. Where which line you mean? 
פון טייק די פייב או רוק טייק די פייב? This way? But the knight will take. Did this what happened in the game and, okay, white is better, but... E takes F? Some kind of like a rook up, no? Okay, I'll take, without thinking. E6 when? Beginning when? This move? I'll take. <laughs> so, it's going to be a long night until we get something. <laughs> You're pissed down. What's that? Like, you know, people like... Like we win chess by winning material, like. Use my my towel impersonation. But okay, they they're just combining some ideas here would allow us to finish this one and maybe see something else. Rook takes bishop was played in the game. You said no, it wasn't. If it was played, yeah. E takes was played, and Rook takes is, w is winning the game, winning. But why? Ah, finally, thank you. No, amazing, but, but it's so easy to miss it. I mean, I said, I like this because I thought I can get the same line, just okay. I'll, I'm so much happy. I mean, okay, I, I think objectively this is much, much better than the game. So, yeah, like 10% correct, but no, more than that. But, but this, resigning, I mean, new game. Just like really, really new game. No, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, probably best, best line, I think, was something like this. Something like this. Take, take. But this is not going to be very happy here. Yeah, so amazing. Mm -hmm.